This is David Shedd with easternslopes.com and I'm here at Owl's Head in Mansonville, Quebec with Luke Skypowder St. Jacques, the uh, sales marketing director of Owl's Head. And we're about to go out into a new area that they're going to open for 2014 and it's a backcountry area and I'm going to try and show you what we've got here. Uh, if you look uphill from us, you can see that cliff. And that's going to be the start of the new area. You'll draw, people will be able to drop in from there, and it's a very, very steep, it's certainly going to be a double diamond set of glades and backcountry area. But as you get down around here, right now we're looking south, we're looking toward Vermont, toward the Newport area. And once I get past Luke, who's just, you know, totally blocking the view, you can see through the trees, that's Lake Memphremagog. And uh, again, we're looking south, so we're looking back toward Vermont, and as we come around, we'll be swinging up toward the north and toward Magog, which is the head of it. But as I drop down, you can see it's you know, very, very steep in here, and uh, obviously there's some cutting that's going to have to be done. But this opens up into, as I come around, a large bowl, and what their plan is, is to make this an open backcountry area that is lift serviced at the top, but as you get down into that bowl, you'll see as I come back around and just this side of Memphis Magog, you know, look down into there. It's hard to see, but I'm going to now take you up toward, and you can see it, it starts to rise over there. And as I focus in and zoom down into that area, you can pick up, perhaps, there it is right there. That's a lift. It's at the peak, one of the one of the one of the lower peaks, and that one is uh, Luke. What was the Lake, the Lake Char? Lake Char, twelve hundred feet. Lake Char, it's at twelve hundred feet, and we're probably closer to seventeen hundred now. So there's a fair amount of drop, and it drops down in uh, again, Luke. How uh, line, or if you kind of zigzag your way down. Okay, so potentially 800, 1200 feet vertical. So you could find yourself probably climbing back up three or four hundred feet before you'd actually yes. uh, get to that chair? You may have to be climbing in through uh, more of a like, uh, uh, because it does have steep areas and areas that are cliffy, so we do we will have to do a skin route that will take them most likely a good, uh, yeah, four or 500 feet of climb. Nice. Yeah. So this is this is definitely for somebody who, who wants more than just your basic glade, but really wants to get out and have the full experience of not only going down, but climbing back up again in the, uh, yeah. and the way you- with your buddies, bring your equipment, bring your safety gear, bring a way to get back to people, because it is uh, an area that is uh, at this point uh, not attached to any uh, main uh, lodge or anything like that. Great. Well, let's go ski some of it and see what we can find down in there and um, see if we get any more to show people at that point. Sounds good. Continuing on, continuing on, here it is, from where we last were, we were uh, uh, talking to you from basically just about the top of where you can see, and we came down this trail, we've dropped, oh, you know, two or three hundred vertical, and I'm going to swing down now and into a different section of the bowl to give you a better view, because when you get down into here, you start to see that it's a just a beautiful, big, open, sweeping expanse that, that you know, clean out a few few trees and a few pieces of brush and it'll be the kind of place that'll be just sort of wonderful to play from different angles drop in from up there drop in from down here drop in over by that little cliff you can see and and either swing around it or if you're again a lot crazier than I am you suppose you could come right off it <laughs> <laughs> that's more Luke's uh, world than mine um, Theoretically, you can actually ski from here right straight down to the lake, and uh, the problem with that, of course, would be that it'd be a long climb back up to here, but um, uh, definitely uh, there's a lot of area in here to play, so we're going to continue on down and see if we can uh, see what it's like inside there. Certainly from here, we're seeing tons of snow hiding down in that bowl. Off we go. All right. We're now deep in one of the lower ends of one of these bowls, and it's just gorgeous and very steep and very rocky and rooty and gnarly terrain. Um, I've gone around the side of this, but Luke is going to take this nice little shoot here. Uh, it's just a beautiful line and beautiful terrain. So he's going to, sh I'm sorry about the, about the bouncing around here, but it's uh, all I can do because I'm breathing hard from coming down in here. So let's see if I can keep him in the, in the sights here. Come on down, Luke. <laughs> hey, Luke, that looked like me. <laughs> Close.
classic. So it's not just us Tyros who, uh, who have our issues off and on in here. But uh, yeah, that's a little, just a little bit of a bump and here he comes. And steep edge there. What's that? Steep edge. I missed my, uh, my launch, unfortunately. That's okay. <laughs> You're learning from me. It's the wrong way around. It was all, it was all good. <laughs> Look good from here. It's fun. Nice soft landing. Uh, okay, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, if you come around it and then drop down, there's room in there. Okay. I'm gonna With my it skill, it would be tight. With your skill, it would be fine. <laughs> and over there, does it look okay? Yes. Okay. I'm going to see if I can make it. No, you, you want to come below this tree. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to use my... I see from here is all these branches. Yeah, when you come down to that, see that birch in front of you? Yeah. Come down to that birch, then take a look. No, no, this way. Yeah, I know. Okay. I want to look at something else. Just a sec. And here we have smart backcountry skiing. Luke is taking his time. He's not trusting my judgment on these lines. He's checking okay. himself. I'll do this, man. Okay. I'll do this because right over there, I can see right through here, it's all a rock shell. I have about uh, three, four inches of snow. Oh, okay. I'm going to scrape bottom and put, potentially hook myself. Yeah, that wouldn't be any fun at all. No. <laughs> no sense ruining a pair of good pair of skis, too. <laughs> Come on down. Yeah, I did the right decision. I just hit rock here. Yeah, I heard a little bit of a crunchiness there. Now Luke's skiing onto the same stuff I was just skiing through, except a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah, you hit that same heavy stuff I had, didn't you? Hey. Where you where you go to stop and 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 all of a sudden it just decides it's going to let out from under you. <laughs> Now it's not a good idea to go fast. <laughs> I will do my best to avoid it, Luke. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to shut this down for now. I'm going to head down slowly to join Luke. Yeah, sorry. Now we've dropped into a section that's a little more polite, a little, little, little shallower angle, and Luke's going to drop in and just take some nice turns down through this absolutely creamy powder that's filled this bowl. It's all yours, Luke. Show me the way. Dips and bumps. I mean, this is just the most beautiful backcountry skiing, and the powder that just that, that drops in here allows you to control your your speeds, even with this uh, all this tree growth. And once the once they've uh, once they've cleaned this out a little bit, even with more people coming through it, it will still uh, it'll still be. Um, uh, just gorgeous even after it's not first tracks or second tracks. I gotta go change Luke down. Yeah, here's the kind of features we're finding in here. This is about a 20 foot drop with a couple of places it hits at the bottom. If we had a little more powder and Luke knew where exactly what was down there, he'd drop down in there and I'd watch and never want to do it myself. But instead he's going to take a little more intelligent line and take it away. Ah, this stuff is just beautiful. Beautiful lines just flow through here even without having a lot of work having been done in here. Look at him moving around in there and just floating around. Back to him. Really wanted to, you know, prop, knowing our lake and everything, uh, something you don't want to suggest to people. <laughs> okay, so what Luke is saying is he doesn't suggest that we send you off to, uh, to uh, skin across the lake. Uh, because it's a great way to get uh, get yourself in a lot of trouble. But here we are, we're skinning out, and this gives you an idea of what you're going to have to do here. I'm, I'm looking straight ahead, and Luke is climbing away. Put skins on our skis. And you can see with the Alpine Touring skis, you've never used them. See how the heel comes up, but then when you um, are uh, going downhill, you lock them back in. Um, if you want to try something like this, and you don't have skis, uh, there's, a t there's a ski uh, ski shop downtown uh, in Mansonville called Wax that has skis for rent, um, and they come with skins so that you can do it. But do be prepared if you come up here. Uh, you'll be able to ski down and then to this track, which actually it's a lovely track. It's not super steep, 
And you can see this, you know, the pace Luke is, is setting, and he's faster than most people because he's in great shape, but uh, it's very, very doable, and it's a lot of fun. It really, it adds a whole new dimension to skiing. So uh, anyway, I better catch up with him because if not, I'm going to uh, not know where the heck I'm going when I get to the top. 